God could have made the world perfect. God could have made the male body perfect. You could see this as part of the realm of tikkun olam, this idea that humans are supposed to complete the work that God started. Jews were very physical, very willing to engage in physical labor uh, and fight. Then, after the defeat of the Jewish people in wars against the Romans and the destruction of the Second Temple, the dispersal of the Jewish people all over the world, it lasted for over 1,800 years. They developed a culture which focused very, very strongly on the spiritual and less on the physical. Barney Ross used to come in wearing a, a Star of David on his robe and with my Yiddish mama playing as he walked into the ring. The Jews of the United States were glued to their radios when Barney Ross fought. So much pride. It's not wrong to associate nose jobs with Jews. There were surgeons who used to do it for free for certain Jewish girls who he felt kind of cut off from the mainstream of society by the way their noses looked. After many centuries in which persecutors of the Jews said convert to Christianity or die, the German racial theorists said if you convert you're still physically, biologically, genetically a Jew. The end point of which, of course, was mass murder. Men and women, pioneers, facing malaria, working 16 hours a day, was a tremendous cultural psychological change, and I think of it as the revival of the Jewish body. Now you have this remnant of a broken people that have been subjected to mass murder, and they come to Israel, and the first thing they have to do is become part of an army. What happened was almost all the diaspora Jews became warriors. They all came to understand the realities of Jewish vulnerability, and they all determined never again to be as vulnerable as the Jews of Europe had become. And to this day, what they mean by never again is never again.